Respect, trust, pride, determination, attributes every coach tries to instill in their players. At East Jackson High, coach Mark Braskowski and his staff used a simple motivational tool to focus their players. One of the coaches found it on the internet, um, th that saying, and everybody just kind of took to it. What it's all about is how uh, you got to trust the people to hold the rope on top of the mountain, and if you're, you're willing to have your hands burned by holding that rope for all your teammates, then you're a part of this team and you, you will be successful. I believe in it a lot. I mean, all these guys on, my, on the team are like my best friends. I mean. I don't really have many friends that aren't on a football team. I mean, these are the guys that I hang out with all the time and the guys that I trust to do just about anything. And with a group of seniors and the whole varsity team, it was, it was such a tight relationship. It was better, even more tight than last year. It was like a sense of unity with the team. It was introduced last, end of last year in the springtime. I, I gave it to our seniors and said, this is what we're going to do. And I gave each senior a little six inch piece of rope to start it going. It may have been a lot to ask of a piece of rope to turn around a football program with almost no prior success. We have spent uh, a large dry spell between now and the last time we were in the playoffs. The last time the playoffs weren't even the playoffs as we knew it even a year ago. Um, it was pre-70s I believe. They are very very a uh, good bunch of kids, but I don't think they were directed in the, in the right way. And so all I had to do was kind of direct them where we had to be to be contenders, and, and they bid into it, and now we hope it continues. East Jackson was expecting great things in football in 1999. This was Mark's fourth year as head coach at East Jackson, and this season was something he had been striving for since he applied for the job. We had a one-on-one -on -one talking about uh, different aspects of the program. And again, we're not emphasizing the winning aspects. We're looking at the t totality of the program and what young men and young women in our athletic program will gain from those positive experiences of high school athletics. He shows them about the, the rights to, to learn to be a responsible individual, builds up their character, and then he starts working with them as athletes. And if, and if you can make your classroom the football field, that is indeed one uh, very special teacher. Coach Raz and his staff prepared for what would be his greatest season on the field. But events off the field overshadowed football. Pam Ruskowski, Mark's wife, was dying. Three years ago, she, well, basically she woke up uh, in the morning and she saw a lump on her neck. And she went to the doctor and the doc our family doctor rushed her right to a um, uh, specialist. And they said, we gotta do a biopsy on it right away and next thing I know, uh, she was diagnosed with cancer. And we went through the 12 cycles. She became in remission. God, it must have been 16 months that she was in remission. Asked the doctor if we could have any more children, and he said, I don't see a problem, why not? Because then Luke was born four and a half weeks early, and she still had like three more cycles of the chemo. Um, and then one day I came home, and she was sitting, our couch was like this, and she was sitting there, and she was very quiet. And I was just standing over there, and she just came, and, and I saw her starting to cry. And then, you know, my wife was very strong. She, you know, she was better off than I was. And uh, she just said that the cancer was not gone, and it was back. And now they got to decide what, what what they can do or what they're gonna do. That was a very difficult time, I think, for all of us. Um, Mark lives in the community. Um, you know, he he goes to church in the area. Um, when, when we knew that this was coming and this was a possibility, it was a scary proposition because it could hit anybody. Well, there was a uh, community-wide concern. It's, uh, it's kind of like an extended family and uh, people wanting to know how Mark's doing, how Pam's doing, how the kids are, his mom and dad, and, uh, and, and how the student athletes were responding to the crisis in Mark's family. High school football is not about life or death. Everyone held the rope a little tighter. When he was gone and when his wife was sick and then we found out she died, um, he wasn't out there a whole lot. I was, I was really in shock and I just kind of sat back and thought about it. And then I went over to an, another football player's house and there was already four or five other guys over there and we just kind of sat down and talked about it for a little while. 
Uh, we knew we were going to have to do something for Reyes because handling a situation like that on your own is tough. And uh, Steve and uh, Jason, they came up with the idea to make a rope with everybody's name on it. Quarterback Steve Rumsey uh, put it around my neck and said, we're hanging on to the rope for you now. And that started it. That started it with the players. And uh, I think that, you know, they held the rope for me. and. So I feel, you know, during the during the funeral and that, um, I knew that they, they felt very uh, strong about holding the rope and I knew that, that we had a great relationship as a coach and a player. A season of the highest highs and the lowest lows. East Jackson's season ended with a loss, but in the end, everyone showed the heart of a champion. Learn from this season. Carry it with you the rest of your life, seniors. I can't ask for a better senior group than you. Juniors, underclassmen. Know what this feels like and go get it next year. Hold the road!